Many ancient sites found scattered all over the planet share an enigmatic feature. A pattern of scarring left upon their megalithic blocks and often upon their walls, once left by a technology built by an as yet not understood civilization. We've previously covered the perplexing technique often used by ancient wall builds, found all around the world in the form of mysterious metal clamps. Used to seat huge stone blocks as they settled over the following years, these clamps dated to similar times within antiquity and varying in style from continent to continent somehow turned up all over the world at around the same time, strongly suggesting some form of intercontinental travel and thus sharing of technologies. Furthermore, and perhaps more intriguing, are the links that we, here on the channel, along with others in alternative research, and even funded institutes from nations around the world, have begun to notice and hopefully triangulate a signature left by this once highly advanced group of individuals. The most noticeable of these sites, and the one which initially started us upon this journey, was Long Yu Cave in China. A cave system hewn from solid bedrock, leaving no waste piles of stone anywhere marking the stone with a telltale scar pattern. These parallel marks are not just found at Longyu. Similar yet not identical marks have also been found elsewhere on Earth. A slight variation in style is what one would expect with shared knowledge. As with the metal clamps, a slight variation can be found from continent to continent. These similar marks can also be found at the ancient quarry of Yangshan, China, and Petra in Jordan, both argued for years to actually be the workmanship of a civilization far older than any noted within modern academia. These marks were then discovered to be upon the ceiling of Cave 1 at the ancient site of Mamalapuram within India, another site which in places shows levels of erosion far in excess of that which should be seen at a site dated within known history. Yet perhaps the most impressive of these marks, and most probably the ones made by the conceptual machine of origin, are the scars witnessed and now subsequently catalogued at Baalbek. These are far too large for any hand tool, made into solid granite with such precision. These also display circular motions, as if left by a modern day tunnel boring machine. This evidence, undoubtedly unnoticed upon many more ancient sites, is clearly compelling evidence to support our channel's hypothesis, that a mysterious history once occurred here on our planet, and will hopefully shed some light on the amazing people responsible for this phase of our past. Thanks for watching guys, and until next time, take care. Many researchers throughout history have concluded that there was once an advanced race of humans, which were in worldwide communication with one another. Many methods for building, religious figures, and even legends have managed to cross the oceans of Earth over its long life. But the most compelling evidence for this intelligent and extremely advanced ancient civilization is the alignments discovered in regards to ancient sites. With the use of modern technology, we have unraveled just how vast their knowledge must have been. For example, the Great Pyramid is aligned with Machu Picchu, the Nazca Lines, and Easter Island along a straight line around the center of the Earth, with a margin of error of less than one-tenth of one degree. Other sites of ancient construction that are also within one-tenth of one degree of this line include the capital city of ancient Persia, the ancient capital city of the Indus Valley, the once lost city of Petra, the ancient Sumerian city of Ur, and the temples at Angkor Wat, among many others which are just out of alignment. Many ancient ruins demonstrate that the people who constructed them had a special interest in celestial alignments and mathematics, also that they possessed a spot-on ability of judging geographical accuracies. From north to south, there is no doubt that past civilizations were involved in incredibly complex calculations and architecture. In Giza, for instance, there are many examples of attention to spatial coordinates. The Great Pyramid's faces are aligned with the four cardinal directions almost perfectly. In fact, they are less than 0.2 of a degree off perfect alignment. More and more evidence is also surfacing in regards to the suspected use of power tools. Numerous drill marks have been discovered within ancient sites over the past few years, even including evidence of misstarts from some form of high-powered tool and accidentally split stones apparently from some form of drilling. These discoveries not only confirm a past advanced ancient civilization here on Earth, but insinuates that they were in fact aware of electrical appliance and maybe even an advanced form of travel that we have yet to discover. 
The floor space of the Great Pyramid of Giza is approximately 3,023 feet, and the height is 481 feet. Its measurements represent the northern hemisphere of the Earth, on a scale of 1 to 43,200. Though controversial, some interpret this number as exactly 20 times the precessional number of 2,160, representing the precession of the Earth through 20 different zodiac constellations. Interestingly, the ancient Mayan culture was also heavily implicated within the Alignment, a civilization who displayed advanced celestial knowledge, including a deep fascination with the ages of the zodiac, with a life calendar ending around the beginning of Aquarius. Another intriguing alignment is the 6,666-kilometer mystery. The distance between various monuments, Kailash to the North Pole, Kailash to Stonehenge, Egyptian pyramids to the North Pole, Stonehenge to Devil's Tower, Stonehenge to Bermuda Triangle, Bermuda Triangle to Easter Island, and Easter Island to Tazumal are all at a precisely 6,666 kilometer from one another. Just what exactly were these ancient civilizations up to? There is a literal smorgasbord of smoking gun ancient architectural anomalies which dot the Peruvian hillsides literally thousands of miles of ruins. With ancient trails stretching far into South America and much farther afield, the largest known ancient artifact ever found is, in fact, a trail just like this. Yet the structures they built still stand as a testament to their creator's abilities, which were indicative of an ancient civilization with abilities and knowledge that mainstream academia seems hell-bent in its reluctance to even consider the possibility of their existence. It refuses to even discuss the topic, regardless of the fact that these buildings were made by people who were members of advanced ancient civilizations that somehow became lost within history possibly during a near-extinction-level event. Yet I digress. Our reason for the digression is an intriguing, if limited, post we came across recently, discussing one of the most remarkable, if little-mentioned additions to the most miraculous factors of the ancient Peruvian architecture, most notably its polygonal masonry, which has allowed it to be earthquake-proof for untold ages. It's keying stones, featured in the article, allowing these ruins to just brush off earthquakes, such as the 7.7 on the Richter scale quake that hit Peru in 1950. As mentioned, it was a curious article, and the reason for our fascination and surprise in its existence was the institution responsible for its printing. It would seem in a brazen move just casually covered advanced technology, i.e. keying stones, the institution in question was Cambridge University. Coined as mechanical keying, the article does indeed begin with explaining the stone's miraculous placement and thus their ability to brush off natural disasters, yet predictably just drifts off into another subject without ever attempting to answer the obvious. That being, if these locations were built by the civilizations in which academia, and we should say especially Cambridge agrees, were a primitive people with a primitive knowledge of stone architecture and primitive tools, how did they not only create these keying stones, but the seemingly perfectly cut stones which make up the famous polygonal stonework of ancient Peru? Not to mention the multi-layered megalithic fortress of Sacsayhuaman, clearly created by those who built Machu Picchu, but the enormity of the stones they used, and the possible reason for this, seems too deliberate for it to not have been indicative of some warning. Yet regardless, of each side in particular, their keying stones are a remarkable legacy of a lost civilization, one which we find incredibly compelling. Thank you.